Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at this DeWalt circular saw. It's an 18 volt brushless saw. The model number is DCS 570. The tool is made in China and the motor is rated for 5,500 RPM. Something I like is that it has a metal blade guard, not a plastic blade guard. It's also got a pretty thick metal base plate and I think that's going to ensure that the tool lasts a long time. The numbers on the base plate are really clear and they're stamped in as well, which I like. You can adjust the plate to 57 degree maximum angle. It also has some forward facing dust ports to clear your work area. You can cut to a maximum depth of 65 mils. I will say that the markings on the back of the saw are pretty hard to read for the depth adjustment. It has two handles on the saw, so it's pretty stable to use. There's also an adjustable fence that you can add to it. The tool features an automatic brake and it works pretty well. Blade change on the tool is pretty simple. There's a blade changing uh, key under the battery. You probably have to remove the battery to get it out. Putting the new blade in, it is a little bit wobbly until you put the actual insert in and then it's pretty stable. There is a battery level issue on this tool for me. The four amp hour battery only has the indicators on the back of the battery, means you've got to turn the tool upside down to see the battery level. The dust port on this tool was also pretty difficult to install. You're supposed to clip it on the one side and then screw it together. The top screw is okay, you can kind of get that in fairly easily. It doesn't tighten fully tight, but the bottom screw is the difficult one. Because the screwdriver is at an angle, you can't really tighten the, the screw, it just cams out. At the end of the day, the dust port was pretty secure. I did wiggle it around and it was pretty secure, but I ended up not putting it on because I couldn't figure out whether there was a bit missing. There was a kind of a hole in the side. I wasn't quite sure if that was meant to be there or not. Maybe leave a comment uh, in the comments below and tell me what's going on there. So here's just a few test cuts, tested the straightness and the accuracy of the notches on the base plate. They cut pretty good. Squareness, it was slightly out and I couldn't adjust the blade any more than that. The depth of cut, I got 64 mils or two and a half inches, which is pretty much what the manufacturer recommends. I did a 45 degree cut to see how deep that would go and it came in at 50 mil or two, in, two inches if you're in Imperial. Then I used my speed square to test the accuracy of the 45 cut, which is pretty good. And the squareness of the 90 degrees slightly out at the top, but not too bad. All in all, I'd say it's a pretty good saw. I think it's well built, uh, it feels pretty solid, the motor's powerful. The blade that it comes with is a pretty good blade. Um, other than the dust port issue, uh, I think it's a pretty good buy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.